Good morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day. And I hope that you're having a great Wednesday morning. We've got a lot in store for us today. 10 a.m., we've got our men's and women's Bible study. Um, 5 o'clock, we have our family night supper. 545, the Adventure Club for Young Families. 6 o'clock, our prayer meeting and Bible study. And, and at 645, we're going to be entering into a time of business so that we can vote on our proposal to expand our children's uh, facilities. So pray for us today. We're seeking God's will. We want to do only what God wants us to do, nothing more and nothing less. But if you have your Bibles, turn with me to James chapter 3, because we're going to talk about something that's very important as we consider our walk today. Uh, remember yesterday and before we were talking about the tongue and how the tongue uh, can can do so much harmful things, so many harmful things, and we've we've all witnessed that through uh, gossip, either that we've participated in or that someone has gossiped about us, and and things that we say have the power to to truly transform lives. Well, <clears throat> in order to understand all of this, you need something very specific, and that is wisdom that comes from above. Look at verse thirteen. James says, "Who is wise?" And understanding among you. Now listen, uh, we, we've read in other places where he says there are not many wise, and that's that's really true. Uh, and the shameful thing about that is that James tells us that if we lack wisdom, all we have to do is ask for it, and God will give it to us. But listen to what he says: Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. In other words, when you have this wisdom that comes from God there is a humility there because you recognize that it's not your own doing. What, what, what God has enabled you to do doesn't come from you. It's not based on your abilities. It's not based on your talents. It's not based on your resources. It comes from God himself. And, and that's the, the way that we're supposed to live the Christian life, walking by faith, doing what God has called us to do, being the kinds of people that God has called us to be. Every decision we make, we need to be saying, okay, God, is this from you? And that's what he's talking about. Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom, the humility. See, you know, Paul talks about our works. Uh, even though he says salvation is by grace through faith alone and not of works, lest any man should boast, he reminds us that all of our works are going to be tried as if by fire. Once we become believers, the things that we're doing are going to be judged. Are they done in accordance with God's word? Are they done for his glory? What is our motivation behind that? Tried as if by fire. And all of the things that are not pleasing to God, all of the things that were not done for his glory are going to be burned up and all that will be left are those things that we did for the glory of God. Those works done in the meekness of wisdom, I think, is, is what James is, is talking about here. But then he, he, he goes on. Because, listen, when there's this meekness of wisdom within us, it comes with a, with a pretty heavy uh, price tag. We have to let go of our sinfulness. We have to let go of our bad attitudes. We have to let go of our bitterness, our greed, our envy, our lust, all of those things that, that, that Paul talks about as well. Listen to what he says. He says, but if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. See, that's, that's a big uh, deal uh, for, for us as individual believers. It's a big deal for the church. And what Paul's talking about, when there is this kind of self-seeking, this kind of uh, jealousy, this kind of bitterness, it's not coming from God. It's coming from Satan himself. It's coming from this uh, natural man that's within us. It's coming from that, that sensual, carnal nature that is ours. It wants everything in accordance with our will, what pleases us, what is for us, not for what's, not what's for other people. And that's what he, he, he wants us to understand here, that the wisdom that comes from God not only humbles us, but causes us to seek the good of others, to do for others what they cannot do for themselves, to minister to the needs that are there, whatever they are. And look what he says in verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, <clears throat> then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy. <clears throat> hypocrisy. That's an amazing verse all in itself. And we're not going to cover it today, but I wanted to read that to you because that's the kind of wisdom that God gives. Think about this. If you think about your own heart, your own mind, your own thoughts, your own nature, 
Are you exhibiting those that humble, gentle, meek wisdom that is reaching out for the good of others, or are you only in it for yourself? That's the key. Be blessed today. Think about that, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.